Hey guys, the World of Warcraft 15th anniversary is live now and it will run all the way until January 7th in NA and January 8th in EU. So you have plenty of time to revel in the celebratory events. If you haven't already logged in and received your gift, you're going to want to do that now. Go, 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 go! Open your mailbox and it will be there waiting for you. Inside the package is 200 time warp badges, a reusable firework, a buff that increases your XP and rep gains by 15%, a little Nefarian battle pet which is super cute, and finally an invitation from the time workers. If you choose to accept the quest, it will instruct you to head over to the Caverns of Time and meet up with our pal Chromie. If you're Alliance, there is a portal in the Stormwind portal room here. And if you're Horde, there is also a portal but not where you would think it would be. It's actually down some stairs as you go into the portal room in Ogrimmar, which I never knew existed until now. If I'm being completely honest, I had to Google this. When you arrive in the Caverns of Time, there's all sorts of cool things to check out, so have a look around. You can even watch past expansion cinematics. My son, the day you were born, the very forests of Lordaeron whispered the name Arthas. When you get to Chromie, hand in the quest and she will offer you a few new quests, one of which is called How Things Really Happened. You'll need to be item level 380 plus to participate in the Memories of Azeroth raids from previous expansions to complete this quest. You aren't required to do the full raids, it's basically like LFR time walking and you don't even have to do the whole boss fights, it's just a short encounter of each. There are three bosses in each raid, from Burning Crusade, Wrath of the Lich King and Cataclysm Expansions. Speak to Chromie to join the queue and pray that everyone remembers the boss mechanics. I'll do a brief summary of each one in case you need a refresher. Once a group has been found for you, when the raid is ready, you'll be teleported directly to each boss. But beware, if you wipe, you may have to start at the first boss again. You can get 420 loot if you're level 120 and the loot includes some nice transmog pieces from the bosses and it's also reported that mounts from the Lich King, Ragnaros and Kael'thas also have a chance to drop and the reins of the infinite time reaver which you can get from time walking dungeons. So the first one is the burning crusade the first boss is Kael'thas Sunstrider. You just need to kill the phoenix, kill the eggs and kill the boss. Pretty straightforward. Second one is Lady Vash. Just need to move out of the green stuff on the ground. That is it. The third one is Archimond. Avoid the fire on the ground and use your extra action button to slow fall if you get hit with his knockback spell. He'll also be fearing players as well, so you might get feared into fire, but you'll probably be fine, don't worry too much. The next one is the Wrath of the Lich King. First boss is Hygen the Unclean. This one's a bit tricky and I had forgotten the mechanics completely when I went into this the first time. It was a wipe fest. So what you need to do is you need to move back and forth across the floor as a group during the fire phase which is green fire that shoots up through the cracks in the ground in sections. So you need to move across together, avoiding the fire, and you'll be fine. Second one is Anubarak. You just need to kill the adds and move into the frost on the ground if you're targeted by the adds and move out of the boss's way when he emerges from the ground. And third is the Lich King. So you just need to remember to move out of the Defile area. He will target a certain player. Next mechanic, of course, is to kill the Valkyries that pick up one of the players and 
take them off the edge of the platform and drop them to their death. So just kill the Valkyries as fast as you can and move out when the Lich King is casting the spell which covers the ground in frost, is it called Edge of Winter? I can't remember. And kill the adds during that phase as well. And that's it. Next one is the Cataclysm expansion. First boss is Cho'Gal. You need to just move out of stuff on the ground, interrupt the spell casting of any players that are converted and kill the adds. There is a bar that you will see on your screen, which is insanity, I think. And if that bar fills up, then you will go insane, which reduces your healing by 100%, but also increases your damage by 100%. So up to you whether you want to accept your fate or not. And there is another debuff that he puts on players, something to do with vomiting. And if you get that, just move away from people. That's it. Next boss is Nefarian. All you need to do for this one is when you enter, the area will fill up with lava. You need to just jump on the podium and kill the ad. You don't actually get to fight the boss, it's just this little bit here. And finally, Ragnaros. All group up on one side, first of all. Avoid the Silphurus smash. And when you see fire orb spawn, run for your life to the opposite side of the room. Kill the adds when they spawn and then go back on the boss. Don't be spread out or you'll probably wipe. It'll just be an absolute mess. Once you have successfully killed all the nine bosses, you can hand in the quest to Chromie and she'll award you with 500 time warp badges and the obsidian world breaker mount which looks just like deathwing so cool the other quest that you can get from chromie is called soldier of time where you'll need to earn 500 honor in the special anniversary battleground inspired by vanilla alterac valley called Corex revenge you will get some time working badges as a reward for this. There's also an achievement to be earned in the battleground during the anniversary, which is called Alterac Valley of Old. It's a bit of a grind to say the least, but you will earn a map for completing it. You'll get the Stormpike Battle Ram for Alliance and Frostwolf Snarler for Horde. You only need to complete it on one side and you automatically get the other one, which is a relief, thank goodness. You'll need to obtain 200 time warp badges within the battleground. These can be earned by completing quests such as taming rams, handing in armor scraps, and you also earn some from winning or even if you lose you still get some. It's recently been nerfed so the amount of badges you can earn from various things has changed. I'm still not sure if it's changed for the better or not. But before the nerf it took me a good 10 hours of being in the battleground and I never want to go back there again, <laughs> ever. Not even to the normal Alterac Valley, never again. It might well be less time consuming now as you can just complete the limited daily quests every day for like a week and you should be done rather than spending hours and hours doing the repeatable quests over and over for minimal rewards, stuck in an endless battle, tearing your hair out and threatening to rage quit. That was me. It's also a good way to earn XP on any of your characters from level 10 upwards as everyone gets scaled to level 60. Personally, I doubt I'll ever use these two mounts, but we all must have them. We want them even if we won't use them. There are also world bosses active during the anniversary and there's a daily quest that you can pick up in the Caverns of Time called the Originals. This awards 150 time warp badges. To complete the quest, you need to kill three of the world bosses. The first one is Lord Kazakh, who you will find in the Blasted Lands. The only mechanic you need to worry about is the Mark of Kazakh. It causes shadow damage to any players nearby, so if you get it, just move away from the other players. The second world boss is Azuragos in Ashara. This is east of Mount Hijal. 
So just take the portal and fly, I guess. You need to stay out of the way of the frost breath cast and avoid the stuff on the ground. Now the third world boss will be one of four dragons. Only one of the four are up each day and it's on a rotation basis. Someone has posted a chart on Wildhead showing which dragon is up on each day. This is awesome. So I'll post a link for that in the description below. Super handy. The first of the four dragons is Lethon. He or she is in the hinterlands. This is southeast of Western Plaguelands. So you can take the Twilight Highlands portal or if you're level 120 and the Arathi portal is up, you can just take the portal and fly. The mechanic that you need to watch out is the seeping fog on the ground. Just be careful of that. The second dragon is called Terra in Ashenvale. This is south of Mount Hijel, so again you can just take the portal there. Stay out of the way of the noxious breath cast, avoid the seeping fog and watch out for fear as you may be feared into bad things. Third dragon is Yasondre in Feralas. This is north of Silithus, so you can just take the Silithus portal and you're pretty much there. The mechanics in this one are pretty similar to the others. Avoid the seeping fog and also beware of a spell called Lightning Wave which causes AoE damage to nearby enemies and travels to your other teammates nearby. So spread out for that one I guess. Fourth dragon is Emerys and is in Duskwood, south of Stormwind. This is by far the worst one and you may wipe on this. Be prepared for absolute trauma. Just remember to stay out of the noxious breath cast, avoid the seeping fog patches moving around on the ground and if you get the putrid infection you'll turn into like a mushroom move away from other players and when it expires it'll drop a mushroom don't touch the mushrooms and yeah good luck it's really really a pain in the ass this one all of these world bosses can drop loot which is item level 400 if you're level 120. you might get some nice transmog that you don't already have there is also a vendor in caverns of time that sells all the usual anniversary items if you haven't already got them such as corgi goggles, corgi pup pet and various other items. And if you want to earn a few extra time warp badges each day, there is a daily quest called Time to Reflect. All you need to do is just answer a WoW related question correctly. I think that's about it, so have fun, good luck and thanks for watching. Hope it was helpful and be sure to subscribe for more videos. Bye!